Peekapoos are a mixed breed dog, or a hybrid breed, that results from crossing a Pekingese and a poodle. There are a lot of poodle hybrid breeds, but the Peekapoo was one of the first of these hybrid breeds. They were first bred in the 1950s. Peekapoos were initially developed to be a good companion for allergy sufferers. They are a hypoallergenic breed. Peekapoos may also be called Peekpoos, Peekapoos, Pekingese Poodle Mixes, Peekapoo, and Peekapoos. These dogs can be very affectionate and make an excellent family pet. They make a great companion and love staying at the side of the members of their family. However, they are prone to separation anxiety, so you may not want to consider getting a this breed if someone isn't available to stay home with them most of the day. Peekapoos are a small size dog breed. Males and females are generally around the same size. They weigh between 4 and 20 pounds and are up to 11 inches tall. Peekapoos that weigh less than 8 pounds are considered a miniature peekapoo. Purebreds, such as the poodle and the Pekingese that are mixed to make the peekapoo, are often susceptible to many genetic conditions that are passed down from inbreeding. They may share some of these genetic predispositions, but the chances of inheriting a genetic disease may be a bit slimmer than a purebred dog since they are a mixed breed. Always choose a reputable breeder and ask to see the health history for both parents before purchasing a new dog. Below we'll share a few possible health issues that your pet may face. These issues are somewhat more prevalent in peekapoos, but just because something is listed here it does not mean that your dog will definitely develop the condition. However, Knowing what to be on the lookout for can help you identify potential concerns early and get your pet into the vet as soon as possible. One possible health concern to be aware of is progressive retinal atrophy, or PRA. This is a disease where the retina in the eye gradually deteriorates. Peekapoos may lose their night vision first, but the disease often progresses to a full loss of sight. Patellar luxation is another health problem to be on the lookout for. Patellar luxation is a slipped kneecap. The knee joint slides out and back into place when a peekapoo walks. Patellar luxation is very painful, and you'll want to see advice from your veterinarian right away if you suspect your peekapoo has this condition. Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition. The bones at the hip joint aren't developed correctly and the thigh bones doesn't properly fit into the hip bone. This causes the bones to rub together, which can be painful. Some peekapoos will also have trouble walking, especially as the condition gets worse. As a peekapoo with hip dysplasia gets older, they'll likely develop arthritis. To recap, here are a few health concerns peekapoos may face. Progressive retinal atrophy patellar luxation hip dysplasia peekapoos are very devoted to their families. They have a very loving personality and enjoy spending time being close to the people in their family. Peekapoos can make a great family dog. They do very well with children. However, since this breed is smaller, they generally do best in homes with older children who know how to act around dogs and won't accidentally harm the pup. Peekapoos do not do as well when they are left alone or away from their owners. They can experience separation anxiety and may engage in destructive behaviors. It is best to make sure someone will be able to stay home with a peekapoo most of the time before you decide to purchase one. The exact temperament and traits of your peekapoo can vary slightly based on whether the Pekingese or poodle genes are more dominant. Poodles are pretty outgoing, and Pekingese are often reserved. The home environment and the way you treat your peekapoo can also impact his temperament when he is full grown. Peekapoos offer unique challenges and considerations when creating a care plan. You'll want to keep this hybrid breed's temperament, health concerns, exercise needs, dietary needs, and more in mind as you prepare to care for your pet.
Generally speaking, peak A poos should eat about 40 calories for each pound of body weight each day. For full grown adult peak poos, this will equate to somewhere between 300 and 800 calories or between 1 quarter and 3 quarters cup of food. However, don't look solely at calorie content. You'll want to choose a high quality food that will help keep your pup healthy and allow them to thrive. Check with your veterinarian for their suggestions on the best food for your peekapoo. They can also help provide you with further advice about the exact portion that will be ideal for your pup based on his or her age, activity level, weight, health, metabolism, and other factors. Peekapoos should eat two meals each day, so you'll want to split their total daily allotment into two portions one for the morning and one for the evening. Peek-a-poo puppies should be fed based on their predicted adult weight. This can be more challenging with a crossbreed, but use the way of your puppy's parents to try to estimate their final weight and feed them based on that. They should still receive the same 40 calories per pound as full-grown peek poos need. However, a puppy's stomach is smaller than an adult's stomach. This means they can't handle the same quantity of food in one sitting. You'll want to portion each day's food into four meals for puppies that are under six months. Once the puppy is six months old, feeding them just two meals should be sufficient. Pekingese poodle mixes have a very soft wavy coat that is between a medium and a long length. Their coat can be a variety of colors based on the exact genes they inherited from their poodle and Pekingese parents. Coats may be silver, white, cream, gray, red, sable, chocolate, apricot, buff, or black. Some peekapoos also have other markings on their coat. One example of this is phantom, which is a black coat with tan marks. Peekapoos do not have an undercoat. Many do not shed, as is the desired outcome for this hybrid breed, but some may still shed a low to moderate amount. You'll want to brush your peekapoo's coat on a regular basis to ensure it remains tangle free and continues to look its best. Like their Pekingese parents, peekapoos have some folds and wrinkles around their eyes, ears, nose, and muzzle. You'll need to regularly check and clean these areas to make sure they aren't holding any dirt or other debris. A peekapoo will also need to have his teeth brushed a few times each week to prevent plaque and tartar from building up and causing dental disease. You should also make sure to regularly trim their nails to keep them from getting too long and making it painful to walk. Check your peekapoo's ears as well for any redness, odor, or dirt. These could be signs of an ear infection and will indicate that you need to bring your peekapoo into the vet. Use a pH balanced ear cleaner to keep the ears clean and prevent ear infections from happening. Peekapoos are very intelligent dogs. They can also be quite stubborn at times. This mix of traits can make them very challenging to train. It will be important to start training your peekapoo from a very young age as soon as you bring him or her home. This will help your peekapoo begin to learn commands and expectations before their stubbornness builds. Pekingese poodle mixes respond best to training methods that use positive reinforcement. Keep this in mind as you begin training your peekapoo. You may also want to consider signing your pup up for an obedience class once he has been fully vaccinated. In addition to beginning to train your peekapoo from a very young age, you'll also want to start the process of socializing him. Take your peekapoo puppy with you to different places and expose them to different people and pets. You'll also want to make sure your puppy gets exposed to children from an early age, especially if they'll be around them in the future. This will help ensure you peekapoo knows how to act in different scenarios and around different people. Peekapoos are a pretty active breed and will require daily exercise. However, their exercise requirements aren't as high as some other breeds.
Try to find time each day to take your peekapoo on a walk and play with them every day. It is also important to note that you should be careful not to overexercise your pet. Peekapoos are brachycephalic dogs, which means they have a flat face. They can overheat more easily and experience troubles with breathing. Pekingese poodle mixes may become destructive if their activity needs aren't met. Keep this in mind and create a plan to make sure your peekapoo gets the exercise they need to stay healthy and out of trouble. Peekapoo puppies will be small. Their exact size can vary based on the mix of genes they inherited from the Pekingese and poodle parents. Puppies will need a safe space where they won't be able to get into trouble or get injured. Before bringing home a new puppy, make sure your home is safe and that any potentially hazardous chemicals or items have been moved away from the spaces the puppy will have access to. You'll also need to purchase a crate, dog food, and all the other supplies you'll need for your new peekapoo puppy. Making sure you have all of the supplies you'll need will help you enjoy the time with your new peekapoo and prevent you from feeling like you're scrambling. Try to get everything you need for the puppy at the last minute. Also, look for a veterinarian you trust and set up an appointment for shortly after you bring home your new pup. Socializing and training your peekapoo from a very early age is essential. Use positive reinforcement methods to help your pup learn commands and understand appropriate behaviors. You should also avoid overexercising a puppy. Too much exercise can damage their still developing skeletal system. In general, a puppy should have about 5 minutes of exercise per month of age. So, a 6 month old peekapoo be taken for a 30 minute walk to meet their activity needs.